What's up people, it's your boy Hanks here and today I'm showing you how to set up your HD PVR with the new Xbox One gaming console. So, as far as I know, the only recording devices or capture cards or whatnot you can use the, with the Xbox One is HDMI input and output. So, I think for like your AV users and uh, component cables, I don't think you'll be able to record with, let alone connect to the Xbox One. So I think you'll need to invest in either a new TV and some cables or maybe just a HDMI cable which you do actually get with the Xbox One anyway in the box. So yeah, if I just show you the back, this is the HDMI output which you can see there. So if you follow that cable, that should go into the input of your HD PVR which is this one there. And then from the output of the HD PVR, the HDMI cable needs to go into the back of your TV, which I've got already put in there. So obviously, as you know, well hopefully, you'll need uh, your power supply connected at all times, and also you'll need to have it connected to your PC or laptop or other machine. So yeah, now we'll head on over and do the software side of it. So if you just want to copy these settings, uh, I'm sure you'll get the best display you can out of it, depending on obviously what you decide to use. For my computer and recordings I use the 13 megabyte per second like recording. That's because if you bump it all the way up to 14 your computer might struggle a little bit to like keep up with it all like recording and whatnot. Uh, but yeah if you do have a gaming computer and like a high end one at that sure feel free to bump it up to 14 but I just feel safe at around 13. Uh, if you have like if you have a normal laptop, a quad core, or an i3 or an i5, uh, I'd recommend putting it on around 10, 11, if that. Uh, but yeah, I keep mine at 13 anyway, because I think that's like quite a safe number and video quality. So yeah, go into advanced then. Uh, I keep all this at source. That means if you get a frame rate drop in a game, uh, the recorder will recognise, and then it will obviously, you know, it'll convert it all. The video encoder, obviously on high for your best quality. I haven't changed any of this at all, just the high. Video, uh, I changed the brightness and contrast a little bit. I bumped it up uh, from about there and from there to about there. That's just so I can get like a kind of more fluorescent and brighter picture. So if you want to do that. Uh, and then I haven't touched audio at all, so I think you should just leave it as it is. And then with the microphone, I've got a little bit of a delay on it, just so it picks it up. Uh, so if you want to click OK, that'll apply the new settings. With the Xbox One, uh, that I know you cannot use anything else besides HDMI at the moment. So it doesn't matter about your component or SCAR or whatever. So, and then on there, yep, yeah, you've got your S-Video composite and component. Just leave it at HDMI so you don't mess anything up or change anything rather. Uh, but yeah, if you found the video useful, leave a thumbs up please and also comment. I know it hasn't been a very long one and I just wanted to show a few people like how to do it properly. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching people. Peace.